Alright guys, here we are in the week, or excuse me, year number three. Um, you know, I think we can make the playoffs. I probably should have done that a bit earlier. Um, but that's okay. So we can upgrade some players, see who gets some upgrades. Manuk Bay already gets his up his first upgrade. So let's take a, a quick look at our team. Uh, Tua, obviously he's our quarterback and we have some really good wide receivers. Solid offensive line, not the best, no real superstars. Uh, white hair is pretty good. Wow, um, Ben Jones regressed a lot. He's 32. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, we have McGovern as, like, a backup. So, no big deal. Um, on the defensive side, uh, Manakbe already is up. Or Manakbe, I don't even know how you pronounce it. <laughs> that is okay. 73 overall. He's already been and our already starter. Uh, the guy we picked up um, Friday isn't all that great. Godis is, is doing his job. It's Okay. Got Chris Harris. We're going to need to pick up um, a cornerback, I think, pretty soon, either in the offseason or in the draft. I don't think we're going to keep Chris Harris after this year. I know he's an X-Factor. He's 32 years old. I actually think his contract's up this year. I think we have a lot of really big contracts up. Yeah, this is last year on the contract. Total salary, $18 million cap hit. Yeah, it's, we're going to probably just let him go into free agency. Maybe we can pick him up there. Um... But other than that, well, actually, let me double check one more thing. Make sure all my specialists are lined up the way I want to. We got a kicker. Ooh, everyone loves kickers. So we got slot. Um, three down back. Phil Lindsay, power back. Perfect. And then practice squad. All right. So what we will do is we will go ahead and advance until the um, midseason. And we will see how we do from there. All right, so we are at week nine, and we have a bye week, so we can't quite see. But we are five and three. Awesome. Very good. Um, five and three. We are first place in a very um, highly contested AFC West. Very interesting uh, that, you know, it's going like that. Uh, two, two is amazing, man. First in passing yards, first in touchdowns. This is absolute great. Phil Lindsay doesn't have a touchdown, but we're uh, kind of a pass first offense or passing offense. And actually, KJ Hamler, <laughs> the wide receiver breaking out, mostly because he's in the slot. I, I think the slot power, the slot position is actually very overpowered. Um, so whoever you put in the slot, they're going to have an amazing year. It's just how the simulation works. Um, he's already a 74, but we don't have his. Uh, his uh, skill factor up yet. Yeah, you know, he has a couple more plays to do that. Um, let's, uh, let's look at our defense as well. Offensive yards, first in the NFL. Who, who would have thought that Denver Broncos first in in the NFL? Defense 15th, you know, middle of the road, not terrible. A point scored second. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're doing great. I'm, I'm very okay with all of this. Um, so here are the people that we need to re-sign. We got Vaughn Miller. Again, Chris Harris, I'm not going to re-sign him for $13 million a year. Bradley Chubb, we want to keep. Bryce Callahan, most likely, go um, maybe. We'll we'll see how that goes. Kareem Jackson, I think we're going to let him go. Derek Wolf, we'll see how he regresses. Son Hamilton, I plan on keeping. Royce Freeman, I plan on keeping. Um, Teron Johnson, I plan on keeping. Josie Jules, yeah. So we have a lot of young guys ready to, uh, to start up. Anyone over uh, the age of 30, I try to just wait on. Uh, see if they want to stay but von miller i mean he's the heart and soul of the denver defense we have so much cap room this year happy sign chris harris will come back on you bradley chubb um let's give him a five-year contract let's keep him for a long long time happy sign i'm okay with that bryce callahan um seven million let's see if we can keep him for two that will relieve the cap hit a little bit um good offer i'm okay with that cream jackson we'll let you go um, Derek Wolf will hold on on you. Deshaun Hamilton. Um, let's give him four years. Good offer. Yeah, so we have we do still have a good amount of cap room uh, to make some moves in the offseason if we need to. I'm just happy all these guys are, like taking these offers. I am so okay with this. All right, he wants better salary. We'll work on that later. And then... Uh, McGovern will wait. Um, so, so, yeah, we're actually doing pretty good. Five and three. I'm okay with this. I'll start working on some more of these contracts, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the season.
All right, so here we are in the playoffs, finishing eight and eight. So we did lose most of our games at the end. <laughs> the entire AFC West finished eight and eight. It's very interesting. But we were playing the Houston Texans. Uh, let's double check who needs an upgrade. Buck Howard, very interesting name. Good for you, man. Um, so let's check our overall um, for the offensive defense. See who's up there. Two was an eighty-five. That's incredible. Um, Hamler's a 76, so he's going to start um, going up very, very fast. Um, uh, Castillo's a 75 overall. We actually did have an injury at left guard, unfortunately. Why? Oh, yeah, we'll just put him as a starter because he's better. Um, he's a better left guard than center. Anyway, uh, Dalton Reitinger's up there. Uh, defense, let's see who has been up. No, no one's, uh, everyone's about to stay the same. So let's, uh, let's go into this wild card game as, um, against the Houston Texans. So here we are. Let's see if we can get a, a win. Oh, we got a very good turnover in our own red zone, but we give up a, a safety. Our defense is, is struggling. Well, our offense just can't get it done. Come on. We had literally the best offense in the league. The Texans are shutting us out. Thank you. All right, we're driving down. Pick up our seven. Pick up another seven. 14. Now we're starting to play. They're down. Stop. Very good. Come on. Oh, offense. All right, we're holding it together. So, so, okay, we're in the red zone now. That was a penalty. There we go. All right, so looks like they're going. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, this is not good. Not, oh, okay. So uh, we're actually going to hop in. Watch me on the sticks for the very first time. I'm actually not like the best um, player in the world. <laughs> so, um, so we need three. Three's our goal. Oh, JJ Watt just ran at me. Oh lord. All right. There's literally nothing. Can't do much. Let's see if we can get this playoff. Oh my gosh. All right. So that was also my fault. I am actually terrible. Oh dear. I'm terrible at this game. And our offensive line is kind of poop. JJ Watt is absolutely destroying us. Oh, he... Oh dear. Okay. So... And I do know we got a double team. No, no. Stop. Oh, this game. Double, double team the guy with the X Factor. All right. I just need someone to get open. I just need someone to get open. Someone good to get open. Oh, Aguilar has his man beat. No, he doesn't. But he can't hold on. Oh, crap. All right, so this isn't good. He had his man beat, and then he didn't have his man beat. Just sent up all my... Uh... Oh my gosh. This double team feature. I can't do it. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get Aguilar or Hamler or I don't know who else. Nope. Yeah, we gave up a safety. Yeah. All right. Well, I ruined the game. Offensive line was kind of kind of poop. All right. Next moment. Yeah. Was... Yeah, we lost. All right. So that was my, my bad. I got no help. Oh, I Tua did not do very good. Um. His completion percentage was kind of bad. Only less than 200 yards. Did get three touchdowns. Phil Blainsey did okay on the ground. Um, did have a fumble by Deshaun Hamilton. Uh, receiving Noah Fant, Deshaun Hamilton. Not, not getting the ball around. Our offense kind of uh, kind of faltered there. Um, so we got two sacks. Um, there we go. Very good. Any pick? Yeah, no picks. All right. So unfortunately, we lose once again in the playoffs. Our season is over, but we, we made it. So we just got to improve on that. Make some uh, make some uh, moves in the off season, and I think we could be back here in year four. So just like that, look at that. Tua Tagovailoa wins the MVP award. Very first time in any rebuild I've done. I've done a few off camera. I uh, did some in 19, a um, few in 20. Kind of get ready for this, but no one has won MVP, but Tua does. 
I am okay with that. Of course, Offensive Player of the Year. Anyone else on here for us? No. Defensive Player of the Year, Devin Bush. Ryan Shazier comes at number three. Von Miller at number seven. Offensive Rookie of the Year, KJ Hamler up to a 76 overall. Defensive, uh, Jeffrey Okuda. We got, oh man, he only got ninth. That stinks, but. So anyway, I'm okay with that. I mean, we have upgrade players. Yeah, oh my goodness. Two is going to get four upgrades, and Hamler is going to get three. They're going to be incredible. Did Tua get Superstar yet? Maybe X-Factor? Oh, he's an X-Factor! There we go. Aguilar gets Superstar. Uh, Hamler is up to a 78, and then we have 279. So we have a lot of depth at the wide receiver position. Which one do you get? Fearless. I am... And then, yeah, Deadeye, Long Range Deadeye, Clutch, and Sideline Deadeye. So we will be chucking the ball very, very deep to all these guys. Anyone, um... Shaz did not get anything. Very, very disappointed about that, but that's okay. Um, new ability unlocked for Tua. Tua's a 91 now. That's absolutely incredible. <laughs> absolutely incredible. So we got a few more people uh, that wants to resign. Chris Harris actually stays at a 85 overall. Maybe maybe we pick him back up in the offseason, but for 11 mil, I think I can get him for cheaper. Um, Kareem Jackson, uh, Derek Wolf stays up pretty high. Ben Jones, we're going to let go because his backup is, you know, one, sh one smaller. Um, but still just as good. And let me check the ends. Yeah, Derek Wolf, left end, we don't have a very good backup. But I, I think, again, we kind of let him go in free agency. Uh, what was he asking for? Cream Jackson wants to stay, but we'll let him go. He regressed a lot. Yeah, he wants six million, six and a half million for one year. That was the dude our cap hit. It puts us at 30. We're, we're going to let all these guys go. Actually, we're, let's re-sign our punter. Actually, we'll let him go, too. We'll, we'll let the punter go, pick some punter up in free agency. And I will see you guys right before the draft, and I will let you know uh, who we picked up. And we do have about 40 mil in cap room. All right, so here we are. We did make a couple of moves um, in free agency. So first, we did pick up a center. Uh, JC Treader uh, picked him up to be our starting center. Maybe could have kept with Conor McGovern, but I think that's, this guy's just going to be a little bit better. Uh, we did pick up a second or another cornerback, Holton Hill. Young guy. I think he's going to be really, really good. Willie Henry, left end. Um, again, solid, just kind of there until we can draft someone. We did get up a backup, Linval Joseph backup, uh, defensive tackle. Um, and then we also did pick up a punter because we desperately needed one. Uh, and also what's kind of funny is, uh, I did offer a contract to Richard Sherman. I completely lowballed him like nothing and he just hasn't accepted it. Expected that to happen. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I didn't really want him, but I mean, if I can get him for like a couple, you know, like very, very small, I would, but, uh, he just didn't want it. So stay, you know, retired. So, uh, what we are going to need in the draft, um, I believe our offense is actually looking pretty good. Um, I need to move, uh, what's his face back over here. Um, so yeah, so our offense is looking very good. Um, Juwan James is regressing, so I think we can put, uh, Castillo up there, let him get some reps in. Um, right end, I think our biggest need right now is a, like, a star corner. Like, someone that's really, really good. So we're gonna have to pick someone up in the draft. We're probably gonna need a strong safety as well. And then, uh, what was that? Left end? Right end? I think it was right end. Uh, we needed as well yeah right end so maybe we pick up one of those um maybe pick up um some others but let's go into this draft and go from there okay so here we are uh end of the 2021 draft let's uh show who we got we actually had again a really good uh class john baker left outside linebacker from oregon 75 overall hidden dev traits um, so I think what we might do is we might actually put him, um, at left end, either him or Von Miller. Cause let's be honest, Von Miller is getting older. Um, doesn't have, uh, very many, uh, years left. 
And then we did pick up a corner, 73 overall. Unfortunately, no development traits, so we're still kind of lacking in the cornerback department. Uh, Taylor Trennett, right guard, uh, 71 overall, very good. Uh, might move him somewhere, not sure. Uh, Lance Russell, middle linebacker, 65, not terrible. Uh, and then these guys, yeah, th this guy's actually poop, um, but he's huge. He's strong. I think he's strong. What's his strength? Strength is doesn't say. And his blocking's terrible. But what we're gonna do is we're going to edit this guy. We're gonna make him a tight end because he's again he's huge. So he goes from like a fifty something, you know, wide receiver to a sixty two tight end. That's like our third tight end. Um, his again blocking is terrible. Um, so if we look at our our team right now, our offense is is, is stacked. Like it, it's great. Uh, White hair, he's pretty good. We signed him for a couple years. I'm pretty. Um, so Tyrant's not going to get the start. Um, wow, our. Uh, it's just messed all this up. Anyway. So. So Von Miller is the scheme fit. So let's put Baker. Play him at left end. Let, let's see the difference. And he's going to be. Put him at the wrong thing. He's a 75 overall. So he does he, he stayed the same. I meant right end, actually. So right end. And then once Von Miller um retires, um, I will go ahead and move him. Okay, so for some reason I, I can't oh boy. I, again, it just messed all this up. I hate it when it does that, but yeah, Von Miller, we're gonna um Actually, let's see what Von Miller looks like as a as an end. I know I'm kind of like screwing everything up, but you know what are you gonna do? Von Miller is uh, 91 overall. Yeah, so because he this uh, John Baker is going to be a left outside linebacker for much longer than Von Miller will be. So we have uh, we should have three very solid people rushing the passer, and I'm gonna have to move. Uh, actually, we make him a left end. Actually, he is a left end, so I have to go into the uh, the roster myself and move people around. And then our specialists. I like I liked Hamler. He did really good in the slot last year. Keep him there. Um. Yeah, so we'll keep Von Miller in the uh, in the rush left end spot for now. Um, yeah, no point of that. Actually, very surprisingly, our, our offense is much better than our defense. <clears throat> so this is what the defense is going to look like. Um, I'm actually very happy with this. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's weird not seeing Von Miller up here, but of course he's down there, 91 overall. Um, yeah, and I don't want Baker to get more reps. Um, so yeah, so let's go straight into week one, and then uh, we will see how we do. All right, so here we are, week, or excuse me, year number four. John Baker already gets an upgrade. I'll let the computer handle all that. Um, and our <laughs> offense went from an 81 to an 83, literally in the off season. I, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, Aguilar is actually already going down. Pretty, pretty crazy to think about. Uh, and Treader actually went down to look like two. Um, and then defense Baker's up to a seventy-six. He's going to be a stud for for so long. Hopefully, he has at least superstar. Uh, his stats were absolutely incredible. So, you know, again, I think we're going to go for the playoffs. Or this very solid team, and hopefully, we will do a lot better is there anywhere any place we can actually improve our team um any better so everything's c plus there's actually no good corners I already looked uh, we can we can trade but he's not gonna yeah none of these guys are actually gonna make us better and it looked like richard sherman retired um 
I didn't see him anywhere. So let's go to week eight and see how everyone is doing. Oh boy, we are three and four. That's not good. Uh, Noah Fant is ready for his upgrade. White hair is ready. Simmons. A lot of these guys. So no, no real huge. You're locking. We're, we're gonna let him go. I mean, actually, that's not terrible. Um, okay. So no one really gr like huge. We still have 80 million cap. So perfect. We'll resign him. White hair. We take a look at in the off season. Um, Justin Simmons. Um. He shouldn't regress anymore, so we'll keep him. Treader, we'll wait. Uh, Garrett Boyles, 8 mil for one year for a 77 overall. No thank you. Juwan James wants a lot less, but he's also a normal death. So we're going to hold off on those guys. Linval Joseph will probably not re-sign. Dalton Reisinger, Reisinger. I don't know why I said it's so weird. Let's give him three years. I'll keep him the 30. Good offer. Glad we got a deal done. Godis, um, probably not going to re-sign him. Maybe you'll see in the offseason. Ida Yatum. Um, two mil for 72. Let's see. 65 mil. Maybe. Drew Locke. Um, it's a lot of money. Actually, the cap hit's not that bad for a backup. So we'll keep him as a backup. Happy to sign. That's awesome. And then the rest of these guys actually don't want anything. So we'll hold off on a lot of these guys. I think we signed just about everyone we wanted to. Hard to believe Garrett Boyles and Juwan James are the same age. That's really weird. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, man. Our offensive line is old. Like, with a capital old. And a lot of our uh, a lot of our guys are getting up there in age. And they all want one-year deals. So, not, you know, $9 million in one year. I don't know. I just don't know. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see how he does. We'll see how he looks. And we need an upgrade. Tua gets an upgrade. And then a random center. Or strong safety. Gets upgrade. Tua. Oh my gosh. Tua's doing terrible. Did he get hurt? I think Tua got hurt for probably this season. That's why. I'm going to I'm gonna assume that's why Tua got hurt. Um, I also want to look at our defense. Let's see. Actually, he didn't. He's just doing terrible. Zulak has only thrown one pass. So Tua not not living up to his X Factor ability. Phil Lindsay through half a year. That's that's not bad. Only two T's. Um, Aglor and Deshaun Hamilton are doing really well. Uh, defense. Let's see how our defense is doing. Shaz has 54 tackles, and then Holton Hill coming in at number two. Let's see sack wise. Shaz Von Miller. Yeah, so our rookie actually only has half a sack. John Baker. That's because he's not in often, unfortunately. We have a lot of good guys. And then kicking yeah, is 7 for 8. Don't know why I looked at kicking. <laughs> um, but let's see what he actually went to as a... As overall. Oh, he's only a star? That sucks. Um, Yeah, it is what it is. Alright. So let's... um, Let me double check the free agents. Um... These guys want a lot of money just to play one year at a time. So we'll see how most of them um, regress. So let's get back to uh, the playoffs. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully we get better. Oh, man. I really hope so. And we did. We turned it around. We are 10 and 6. 85 overall offense. The two will break 90. He did. He's at 90 right now. Very good defense. Uh, Baker's out of 78. He's getting better. Very good. I'm okay with this. Um, I'm, I'm kind of just waiting for Vaughn Miller to retire. Like, not in a terrible way. Like, I don't want to sound like that. Um, but, I mean, that's why Jerome, or that's why John Baker is not where he is. And Hamler's supposed to be here. There we go. Um, so, we can upgrade our coach a little bit more. Take a look at our... Um, everyone's, we need, yeah, we need defensive back, and yeah, perfect. Let's take a look at some stats. So we did, we end up winning the division, um, after going two and four. Tua comes back, his passing yards weren't that great, but he threw a lot of touchdowns, 37, uh, which I think was fourth, it said. 
Philip Lindsay breaks 1,000. Nine TDs. Yeah, so we turned this around a lot. Aguilar breaking 1,000. Deshaun Hamilton right behind him. Tylen Wallace. Yeah, you can see the difference um, in that. Let's look at our defense. Shaz gets 118 tackles uh, for sacks. Von Miller gets 16. <laughs> John Baker comes in with six. Oh, man. Von Miller, 16 tackles. How many interceptions did we get? Not a lot because our defensive backfield is not very good. Um, What's the record for a year? Sacks, 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 defensive sacks. That's career season. I'm back at passing yards. Defensive sacks. So, okay, so it's 22. So he's not close. But still, 16 is very good. I will absolutely take 16 from our uh, from Von Miller. So let's go into this game. Hopefully, we can beat the 12 and 4 Browns. Uh, and hopefully, Tua has a great game. All right, so let's see how we do. And already, we give up seven points. Um, and we th turn the ball over. And oh dear, we are getting blown out. This is not very good. All right, 10. We we hold him to a field goal. Can we get a touchdown? No field goal. Oh, man. Come on, offense. I believe. And we give it up. All right. But we're, we're marching down the field again. Get 10. Can we stop him here? Hold him to another field goal. We punt it away. And they're going to score. Oh, yep. Nope. We, we lost this game big time. Need 17 points. Yeah, we need 10 points. Yeah, we're not going to get it. Not going to get it at all. So we'll just hop in. Maybe we get it. Um, we need some deep passes, like some deep passes. Um, Himmler, Aguilar, Wallace is going up. All right. Oh, we, I should have ran out of bounds, but hey, we didn't get sacked, so that is uh that is something good, right? Oh wait. I uh, didn't let me keep it going. Oh, well, we, we only lost by three, I guess. Two actually has a good day. Um, it's our defense, though. Our defense struggled. Uh, two, uh, yeah, three TDs. No picks. I will take that. Um, Broncos, Phil Blinsey has a good day on the ground. I mean, not, not the best. Deshaun Hamilton leads. Oh, man. Okay, these were good. These were good stats. Deshaun Hamilton and Nelson Aguilar leading the team. In receiving yards, both having over 100 defensively you get any sacks we did we got von miller ryan shajir with two sacks and no picks um so unfortunate we did we came back close at the end but the browns are just too good in simulation so let's go into free agency see who we need to keep um i think this year though we're really gonna have to focus on our defense so we're taking a quick a uh, qu quick a quick look at the yearly awards justin fields <laughs> mvp no idea who that is baker mayfield andrew luck I'm um, keeping Andrew Luck in here um, just because I can. Uh, Tua makes it number 10. Didn't mean to do that. Defensive. Ryan Shazier comes in at number 3. And no Von Miller, unfortunately. Somehow, no Von Miller, even though he got, what, 16 sacks? Yeah, I don't I don't get this game. Anyway, Offensive Rookie of the Year, we had... I saw him. Yeah. Uh, Tamon Harrison somehow come in at number 7. Defensive Rookie of the Year, John Baker comes in at number four. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead, take a look at who we need to re-sign. Eight players have contracts. White hair actually does really good. Keep him, hopefully. You're not interested. Garrett Boyles doesn't go down all that much. Hopefully we can keep him. And Okay, they're all going to test free agency. Um... Are you gonna test free agency? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's gonna test free agency. So we're not we're not gonna resign. Yeah, okay. Uh, every, literally everyone <clears throat> and their mom wants to test out free agency. All right. Yeah, at least you're happy. At least the punter is happy to play for the Denver Broncos. Uh, and then Justin Hollins. I don't think we need him. And Draymond Jones will let him go too. So we are going to have to sign a lot of offensive linemen. Let's see what they look like real quick. <coughs> And just like that, our offensive line is pretty not good. 
Oh boy. All right. So right tackle number one. Absolutely need a right tackle. The rest of these guys can like, they're okay. I actually put John Runyon up there. Yeah. So right tackle. Sorry, nothing against you, Van Pelt, but you are not as good. Uh, right tackle, definitely the first thing we need to get. It went, oh my goodness, all my cornerbacks are gone. Oh my. <laughs> Shaz gets superstar. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of people. We are going to need literally so many people. Left end, yeah, they all left. All right, they all f retired or something. But we sh Okay, we have 69 million. So we're going to have to do a lot in the draft. Okay, so we t <laughs> we tried our best to to get places that we needed so we did pick up chris harris jr again um he, he's there we we need a better corner uh deandre baker uh again just kind of adding some depth that we really needed then we picked up uh willie hendry back uh we needed a, another middle linebacker so we got preston brown left tackle dj humphreys ren williams and then roger scott uh, staffold the third so our team went down a ton so let's just do um, generate best lineup. It's not terrible. And, and the guy we just signed doesn't even start. All right. Should have done this before. Um, maybe we just release him. All right. I'll take the, I will take the penalty of 500K. That is, that's okay with me. Uh, and then on the defensive side, we're going to need a few positions. <laughs> oh, this might be a very defensive heavy draft. Uh, we And th there just hasn't been very many good people uh, coming in. So we're going to need a strong safety. I, you know, I really want a star corner. Linebackers look really good. Defensive line looks solid. But yeah, I think our defensive back is what... Or, Defensive backfield probably needs the most work. Maybe an offensive lineman if the right one comes. I'm not going to draft on just to draft one. Um, but I will let, let you guys know how it looks and then we'll end this video. Okay, so here we are in uh, starting year number five. But we just drafted all of our, excuse me, year number. No, this will be year number five. Yep. So uh, our first pick, we picked up Dominic Cleveland. Strong safety from Alabama. 74 overall hidden dev trade. He's going to start right away. Uh, then we picked up Martin Roll, a uh, defensive tackle from Florida State. Um, he'll be a solid backup. And then Deshaun Gilbert, cornerback, North Dakota State, 76 overall, hidden dev trait. He's going to make an immediate impact on our team. Uh, the rest of the guys weren't weren't very weren't very good. Um, uh, the center's okay. Uh, Delonte Mullins, um, Harvey Hendrick. Uh, Silas Wilson, pretty terrible, but uh, kind of same thing as I did last year. Just going to make him a tight end. Um, and he should go up a little bit. 76 to a 64. And he has a hidden dev trait. So who knows? Maybe he has a hidden X-Factor ability. I highly doubt it, but, you know, whatever. So uh, there's Hendrix, the right guard we picked up. He has a hidden dev trait. Um, let's, uh, real quick before I change anything do automatic lineup um we'll put the hidden dev trait guy first that is a very interesting face all right so didn't i think i just didn't see anyone i really wanted to pick up unfortunately on the offensive line maybe we look at free agency a little bit more um is gilbert number three if not i want him to be uh, i definitely want him to be at least number three uh, get him to pick up that dev traits and then we'll also put Cleveland at number one as well um, Take a look at our special teams How are who's the fastest guy that we have 85 speed no no, thank you Thank you 92. I know there's an easier way to do this 92 Cleveland one, yeah, so we're gonna put Hamler as our returner and specialist. Let's make sure everything's good. Oh, I don't have a third down, or I don't have a power back anymore. Awesome. Uh, and then sub linebacker <laughs> Cleveland's a 74 there. All right, so I think our, our team our team looks pretty good. Oh, Bradley is he depressed or digressing? No, he's just he's just chilling at 90 or 85. 
unfortunately not not quite what we wanted so let's uh we're not gonna technically start we're just gonna look at some free agents see if there's anyone we can pick up or maybe trade for uh so let's see we definitely need some tackles no that's not worth it that's definitely not worth it no nope and no yeah so we're just gonna have to to sit there and wait Maybe DC2. Our, our DT should be pretty good. Like, I don't know why they're so bad. And I did not mean to do that. Let's just finish. Maybe there's a, a corner or a strong safety. I mean, we have a strong safety. I don't need a new strong one. New strong safety. Free safety. No one there. Corners. Uh, Bryce Callahan is still a uh, free agent, but he's 74. You know, 1 million. This guy's actually a scheme fit, so he's going to go a little bit faster. What's your speed? 85 speed. That is not going to cut it. Um, Bryce Callahan, what's your speed? 90. Um, so I, I don't know. Do we? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. We still have a ton of, uh, ton of cap space, but that's because Tua's contract is coming up this year. Von Miller gets an upgrade. I will take it. Um, Gilbert is going to be really good. I'm okay. I'm very okay with that. Uh, and then Cleveland's going to be very good. So we have a lot of, uh, developmental traits that we have on defense. Uh, one at tight end. So hopefully he gets something good. Um, something kind of glitchy. And then, uh, this Hendricks guy, I don't think he's ever going to play. Uh, cause he's a 61 overall and our guy's a 73 overall. So anyway, um, that is going to do it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and we will finish uh, years five and six in our Denver Broncos rebuild in the next episode. I'll see you guys later.